I'm about to tell you about a secret little island that very few know about and even fewer have been to. If you know about its existence, it's only because someone who's been there has revealed the secret to you. There's a small little island in North Carolina's Outer Banks that most people don't realize exist. That's for good reason, because there's only one way to get there, and it's not by a bridge. So you have to take a ferry. You have to navigate through these little shallow mud flats that they're constantly dredging so they can keep the ferry service open. You have to navigate through that for like an hour. But without it, Okacroke Island would be completely cut off from the mainland. But you see, the ferry, well, it's simply more than just a vehicle to get to the island. The ferry itself is a bit of an experience. Everything from waiting in line to standing on the deck of the boat while it's moving to just driving your car on the boat and seeing the beautiful sights that surround the area. When you get off the ferry, it's a short ride to the little, small, unincorporated town where there's way more golf carts than there is vehicles. So it's a town that has one gas station. It does have all kinds of small business, local shops and stores that they sell the coolest stuff. There's one hardware store. Now there's lots of small business food options, but you're not gonna find any fast food places or any chain food places on the island. It's all local made cuisine and it's phenomenal. Shocker, but seafood is one of the features. There's a great bar, as well as a great brewery. You only have to stand in one line on the island, and that's to get into the amazing coffee shop, Oka Croak Coffee Company. Now, if you get there early, you may avoid the line. If not, you're probably gonna wait 15 to 20 minutes to get your amazing baked goods and cup of joe, but I promise you, it's gonna be worth it. The incredibly unique stores are located in all places of the island, not just on the main strip. Most importantly to me, the streets are quiet, the crowds are missing, and there's a sense of peace everywhere. The great thing is, is you can take your golf cart anywhere you wanna go. In fact, you're gonna see a lot more golf carts on the streets than any kind of other vehicles. The island is host to some of the best ice cream and baked goods you'll find. But what Oka Croak is really known for is the beaches. Oka Croak has miles and miles of beautiful drive on sandy beaches. The water is typically clear and the atmosphere is calm. Oka Croak has many incredible sights to see, including a beautiful lighthouse. You'll also notice Blackbeard flags all over the place because the famous pirate Blackbeard died on Oka Croak Island. From fishing, to boating, to parasailing, or simply having dinner at a waterfront restaurant, Oka Croak's Silver Lake is one of my favorite parts of the island. There's no shortage of scenes to shoot for a professional photographer, or even just a simple tourist looking to capture memories. The sunsets are inspirational. Weather can make for some stormy skies, but don't let it fool you or stop you. A lot of times you'll see the storm off the shore and it will never come on shore. 
It just makes for some really beautiful scenes. My main suggestion to you about Okokrok is rent a boat at Silver Lake. You can take the boat and go explore all the islands and sandbars that surround Okokrok. Do some fishing. Take a grill. You may be able to catch and cook on a small sandbar. It doesn't get any better than that. Our close friends for years have been telling us how magical this little island is. They go every year. I was worried they built this place up so high that there's no way it could ever live up to the expectations. I was wrong. Don't get me wrong, Okokrok isn't for everyone. Okokrok is for those who don't like crowds. Okokrok is for those who don't want to be rushed. See, Okokrok can be as busy or calm as you want it to be. People are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. The total population is about a thousand people who almost all of them earn their income off the tourist industry. Since Okokrok makes most of its money from the tourist season and the tourist activities surrounding the tourist seasons, there's a long stretch of the year where there's really very few people on the island except for those that decide to stay year long. So if you ever go to Ocraco, keep that in mind and make sure you take care of the people that are taking care of you. Take a nighttime ghost tour or just get on your golf cart and ride around and look at all the spooky sights. You can't even tell it during the day. But when nighttime falls on Ocraco, there's definitely some spooky sights, including some graveyards. There's a ton of history in Ocraco. However, if you like late night parties and clubs, not happening in Ocraco. 
everything's done and dark at 9 p.m. That's one of the primary reasons people go there, is to turn the rest of the world off and just to be able to enjoy the peace and time together with those around you. Ocracoke is about the peace that comes from leaving the busyness of the mainland. It's about letting the air out of your tires to drive on one of the many beaches when you first get on the island, to not airing your tires back up until you're going home. Ocracoke is about the people that live there. The peace. It's about the stillness. The quiet ocean breezes. It's about great food great times and great friends. <laughs>